guys, this is Namish Bunzel here, and this is how I pass the AZ900 or the Microsoft Azure Cloud Certification. So what exam even is the AZ900? So the AZ900 is the Microsoft Azure Fundamental Certification exam. It's not like the other exams, like the 303, the 304, the um, 500, what, you name it. We literally have to create the um, like stuff that they provide, like the services and the workload and the security and the privacy. That being said, you might think that, oh wow, this exam is so easy, I'm just going to practice for like two seconds and I'll immediately go. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. This exam actually is still a big deal, like, it, but like, yeah, and it's not like a piece of cake. But like, that being said, it's not too hard either. Preparation. So you should probably spend an hour or two a day on Google. I'm not saying for you to do this, this is just what I did. So um, I did Scott Duffy's Udemy course. I did the MS Training with the MS course. I did practice tests and I reviewed everything and did more research on things that I wasn't clear on. And I did some hand on, hands on exercises in the Azure portal itself with my dad. So uh, here's some stuff to remember for the exam day itself. So one thing to remember, you need to prepare your room. Like you're not allowed to have any materials next to you, like papers, anything that's suspicious really of you cheating. Like just, just like, just, it's just like common sense. Like you're not allowed to have your phone ar at arm's reach, but you are su supposed to have your phone close by in case the protocol needs to can't contact you for whatever reason and their Wi-Fi is down or your Wi-Fi is down. And like you're not allowed to have notebooks. You're not allowed to eat. You can drink water, but it has to be from a clear glass, all that stuff. And also self-preparation, you're literally taking an exam, you need to um, prepare yourself. When you do the check-in, you need to quick a picture of yourself, your government ID, such as like your passport, your driving license, your student ID if you're like young, and all sides of your room, so front, back, left, and right. Since I'm only 11, or minors in general, a parent and le or legal guardian has to provide their ID as well, so like you have to wait for a greeter to come. And then your parent has to show their ID to uh, the person who's uh, greeting you, and then they um, leave, and you're on your own. So the experiences, and yes, that is plural, meaning I actually failed this test once before passing it the second time. Yeah, so we'll get into that now. So the first attempt, I thought the questions weren't too hard. I don't know that I would pass. Like I just thought, like, uh, ooh, this is this shouldn't be too hard. Like um, I was pretty confident about taking the test, and then like. I guess I wasn't, like, thinking broadly enough for something. Like, I'm not 100% sure what exactly happened. Maybe I just wasn't thinking broadly enough. Maybe I had a brain fart at the last second. I would never know. But I failed with a score of 641. So, the second attempt and the final attempt, the questions felt a lot easier the second time around. Um, maybe that was because I uh, put in an extra week of preparation, I, I guess, and I had more experience with the test than most people, having failed it the first time, cause I, so I knew what it was going to look like and stuff. And yeah, I tried hard not to get cocky, because I was also confident the first time, but apparently my hard work paid off, because I passed with a score of 880. Yay! So this is the official stuff, that's my uh, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals with my cringy feature, with my name and stuff like that, and... The, the, those are the bars of success, I guess. And that's my certificate, signed by Satya. And thank you for watching this video. Number shout. Boom. You're editing this, by the way. Bye.